letter from hell. Dear friend, I died today. It's a lot different than I expected. You see, I always thought dying would bring me into a world that's foggy and hazy. But this place is crystal clear. It's even more real than my life on earth. I can think, I can talk, I can even feel. Right after the wreck, I could feel my spirit leaving my body. It was the weirdest thing. At first, I was just standing in line, getting registered, I guess. They asked me for my name and began to look in this thing they call the Book of Life. I guess they couldn't find it, though, because this huge angel standing next to me grabbed me by the arm and started dragging me away. I was terrified. I asked the angel where he was taking me, but he didn't answer. So I asked again. Finally, he told me. Only those whose names were written in the book of life could enter into heaven. The rest would be condemned to hell forever. I was scared. The angel threw me into some kind of holding cell where I've been sitting and thinking for a long, long time. You want to know what I've been thinking about? You. I've been thinking about you. You're a Christian. You told me so yourself. We talked about it three different times today. Kelly brought it up, and you laughed it off. Coach Adams brought it up. You changed the subject. It came right up, it came up right before the wreck. And the question I can't get out of my mind is this. Why haven't you ever told me how to become a Christian? You say you're my friend. If you were, you would have told me about Jesus, about how to escape this terrible place I'm headed for. I can feel my heart pounding in my chest. The angels that have been chosen to cast me into hell are coming down the hallway. I can hear their footsteps. I've heard of this hell. They call it the lake of fire. I can't stand it. I'm terrified. The angels are at the door. They're coming in, and I'm terrified. They're pointing at me and grabbing me and carrying me out of the room. I can smell the burning sulfur and the brimstone. I can see the edge of the cliff where hell burns. This is it. I'm without hope. Closer, closer, closer. My heart is bursting with fear. They're holding me over the flames. I'm damned forever. This is it. They've thrown me in. Fire, pain, hell. Why didn't you ever tell me about Jesus? Sign. Your friend, P.S., wish you were here. Now, if we were to stop here, it'd be kind of depressing. And I'm not real big on fire escape religion. Because it's the goodness of God that brings men to repentance. It's the goodness. He's not trying to scare the hell out of you. He's trying to love the life into you. Letter from heaven. Dear friend, I died today. It's a lot different than I expected, you see. I always thought dying would bring me into a world that's foggy and hazy. But this place is crystal clear. It's even more real than my life on earth. I can think, I can talk, I can even feel. The last thing I remember is the sound of breaking glass. Now I'm standing in a light so bright, I can't even open my eyes. All around me, I can hear the sound of singing. It's so loud. It's so wonderful. As I slowly open my eyes, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I see a city of Jasper that's so beautiful. It's simply indescribable. I see a glass that seems to stretch to, to eternity. I see millions and millions of angels and saints kneeling and worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the God Almighty Jesus Christ himself. His eyes burn like fire. His presence radiates like an inferno of holy flame. His voice echoes like the sound of a tidal wave echoing against the shore of my soul. I see the Lord. What I see now makes my eyes burst forth in thankful tears. I see his scars. This king of kings in his glorified body of overwhelming power and strength has deep gashes in his back, his feet, and hands. It's hard for me to imagine that this great God had one time writhed in pain on a cross made of wood. This glorious king had been tortured and mocked and murdered in my place for my sins. As I stand and see those scars, I know that I'm forgiven. The one I failed again and again had not failed me. He died that I could be with him in heaven someday, today. What happens next makes my blood run ice cold. My heart stopped in fear. Jesus says my name. I slowly turn and look up to his majestic throne. I'm paralyzed, frozen, locked in stare with Christ. 
I feel so small. This holy God is so powerful. His glory, His power, His majesty. I want to turn away, but I can't. I'm mesmerized by the brilliance of His overwhelming presence. I fall to my face and begin to worship. I can't help myself. He's so amazing. I can't believe that this Son of God, this Son of Man, had died for me. I never knew I was so loved. Suddenly I felt a hand on my shoulder. It's Him. He raised me to my feet with the most loving voice I've ever heard. He says, well done, my good and faithful servant. It matters what you do now. It echoes in eternity. Each person you reach, each soul you save, every act of service. He's taken me by the hand now across the crystal river. The brightness of his beauty is getting more and more intense. With each step we take, the crescendo of music from millions and millions of angels and saints is getting louder and louder. The ground is shaking with the sound of their worship. We're getting closer, closer, closer to his majestic throne. I'm here. I can't believe it. I'm in heaven. Joy, peace, love. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for telling me about Jesus. Sign your friend. P.S. Wish you were here. Jesus is saying to you tonight, from Matthew 6, on this eve of your graduation to your next level in life, as you prepare for college, join the military, begin your career, the people who don't even know God keep trying to get these things. And your Father in heaven knows that you need them. Seek God's kingdom first and what God wants then all your other needs will be met as well. If you've never stepped into the light, tonight's your night. What a wonderful time to start a relationship with the Lord. You're going to need God. If your light's gone dim, make the decision to reignite. And if you're walking in the light, get your sunglasses, because it's about to get brighter and brighter and brighter. May the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and grant you peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.